Hi, my name is Ian Wu. Today I'm going to talk about the catering field that I'm going to work in. As a human being, we eat every day and we cook every day. Food is something that cannot be missed from our daily lives. Also, I think that people will not be able to live without food. Today, food has become more than just our physical needs. It also has become our emotional, social, as well as psychological needs. There are three reasons why I think food is really important to us. The first reason is that food brings us joy. Most people would have experienced that a piece of cake would make someone's day. Just a small piece of cake or chocolate will do. The second reason is that food connects people. We usually ask people out either lunch or dinner, some, and sometimes we just buy a cup of coffee or tea for people. The, it doesn't really matter what kind of food we actually eat. The thing that matters is the opportunity that we created to know people through having lunch or dinner together. And people tend to be more relaxing while eating. And relaxing is always a really great atmosphere to have a deep conversation. The third reason is that I think food reveals the culture behind it. Most people would try the local food when they travel to certain places. I think it's more like it's something must do when they travel. It's on their travel list, to do list. The way they cook. The material they use could reveal the local culture really easily. Well, as a food lover, the catering field would be the one that I would dedicate myself to the career, put all my patience, passion, as well as my attention to it. Now I'm going to talk about the catering situation in China. This section, I will be talking about the categories of the catering business, the current category market in China, as well as the current catering economic in China. First of all, I will introduce the categories of the catering business. According to the China Industry Research, catering food mainly has five categories, including travel restaurants, sit-down restaurants. Buffet style or fast food restaurants, cafe and street food are categorized into one. To categorize more specifically, there are three kinds of restaurants: the convenient restaurant market, high class restaurant market, as well as atmosphere style market. Now let's move on to the current catering market in China. The increasing population is the key condition to the catering field. Therefore, according to catering data, the Chinese government has already started to reframe the structure of the population. For example, the second child policy that was released about two years ago. Now couples are able to have the second child without paying any fine. According to Zhiyan Consult, the article mentioned that along with the increasing economic, the disposal income of Chinese people is increasing as well. The disposal income means the money that we are able to manage or use after paying all the tax or anything else. Based on American consumer experience, Chinese consumers would be concerning more on the healthiness, nutrition. As well as the customization of the food as well in the future. Now let's talk about the current catering economic in China. The income of the catering field in 2016 has increased to 11.7 percent percentage, compared to the same period of previous year, which was last year, 2015. And this was based on the data that Chinese catering industry website provided. Additionally, according to the data, the income of Chinese fast food catering field has increased from 45 billion RMB to 127 billion RMB, and that was a really big increase. However, in the recent two years. 
the worldwide economic environment has influenced the Chinese catering field in a pretty negative way. Therefore, Chinese catering field is transferring from the rapid development arrow to a more steady development time. Based on the data the article offered, it is really easy that Chinese consumer prefer. It is really easy to tell that Chinese consumer prefer Asian style food the most. Season one of the 2016, the distribution of top 50 catering brands is analyzed in the article. It says that 15 of them are regular Chinese restaurants. Eight of them are casual restaurants. Seven of them are hot pot restaurants. Six Japanese or Korean restaurants. Four special local flavors. Two thin restaurants. Two Southeast Asian restaurants. One barbecue restaurant and one Western style restaurant. I think it's really obvious that food style is highly related with the local culture. This section, I'm going to talk about the prediction of the Chinese catering field. Currently, Hapa has the largest number of the stores in China right now. According to the article, Chinese Hapa statistic report says that Hapa has already became the number one popular food in China. The report also indicates that hot pot is the leading cuisine of any other kinds of food. There are a few reasons I would like to provide. First, there are different kinds of flavors are offered in a hot pot. For instance, spicy and non-spicy, heavily oiled and lightly oiled. The second reason is that customers get to customize the food. They want to put into the pot. Hot pot could be either healthy or unhealthy, just based on the sauce and the food customer chose. The third reason is that customers also get to mix their own sauce as well. There are tons of sauces options are provided in the restaurants. People get to mix them as many times as they want. And people, customers get to free refill anytime. The last and then I think is the most important important reason is that the price is very affordable. Now they have single hot pot for people who prefer to eat alone, and I think that's a really good choice for people at work as well. On the other hand, I think that internet has been developing. Has been developing rapidly these years in China right now. According to the data, nearly forty percent of orders were made through online internet in two thousand fifteen, and placing orders online is becoming a new trend in China. Life is getting really convenient through the internet. Here is the personal story I would like to share. Since I go to school in the United States, that's why I don't back. I don't go back to China very often because the flight fee is really expensive. I usually go back every summer, but every time I go back, I always found out how fast China has been developing, especially the internet perspective. That anything can be paid by Alipay in China. Alipay is actually an app that is really similar to PayPal in China. You get to pay.、Um, you can pay medication, tax fee, utility fee, housing fee, any kinds of fee through Alipay. And even there are some street food. They take Alipay as well. The last prediction I have is the kinds of the restaurant that will be that might be popular in China, since the young generation is the main consuming force in China right now. The small and the delicate restaurants are becoming a new trend among young people. Usually, this kind of restaurants, um, they pro a really great brand image. They have great service, 
elegant environment, fashionable menu, and uh, moderate moderate size of the restaurant. They usually aren't that big, and this type of restaurant tend to have a lower cost of running the restaurant. And usually, this kind of restaurant they have a really good quality of the food since the size isn't that big. They take care of every steps of making the food. And younger generation tend to care more about the experience of trying the new things, because I think that nowadays not that much customers would go to the same restaurants over and over again in years. I think.、Um, Um, that people will like to try something new, t-、um, sometimes. In conclusion, catering food has becoming more and more various, and also people tend to pay more attention to the psychological needs, and that's the main reason that people would pay hundreds, even thousands of dollars, in those Michelin-starred restaurants. Also, China has passed the rapid development era in the catering field. Now it's getting into a more steady stage, and I think more creativity is needed in this field. So the field would be more stronger and more competitive through having more creative ideas and offering more creative ideas. Therefore. The entire field could make some real progress together, as a whole. And thank you for your time, and I and I hope you like the video.